Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Today, I'm going to be reacting to 15 things you didn't know about Turkey. So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Fifteen things you didn't know about Turkey. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back to another amazing video. Today, we're exploring the beautiful Turkey, one of the few transcontinental countries. Turkey spans both Asia and Europe. Inhabited since the Paleolithic era, Turkey has been taken over by various civilizations, including Assyrians, Greeks, and the Armenians. From the 14th century to the early 20th, Turkey experienced war after war. Its current political station is turbulent too. What can we learn about this diverse country that's forever in the headlines? Because Alux.com is dedicated to becoming the world's best resource on the most interesting destinations in the world, we wanted to show you 15 things you didn't know about Turkey. Number 1. Turkey is home to two of the seven wonders of the ancient world. We often assume that the ancient wonders will mainly be in Egypt and Greece, but Turkey has its fair share. The Temple of Artemis is dedicated to the Greek goddess of hunting and childbirth, also known as Diana in ancient Rome. The temple is located near the ancient city of Ephesus, which is now on the edge of Selkuk and understandably in ruins. The Mausoleum of Halicarnassus was a burial chamber built in 353 BC and was carved by four Greek sculptors. Its ruins can be seen in a modern-day Bodrum. Number 2. A soup before a meal is very common, even before breakfast. No matter what time of day it is, Turks love soup. Breakfast is a very important meal, often consisting of meats, cheeses, and breads, but it's always begun with soup. During winter months, soup will begin all meals and is served with rice, bulgur, wheat, or yogurt. Summertime generally involves cold vegetables with olive oil as a starter. Other Turkish customs include finishing the food on your plate, the host not leaving the table until their guest has finished, and it's absolutely fine to belch in rural areas. Number 3. Santa Claus was technically born in Turkey. Saint Nicholas, a Christian saint and the origin of Santa Claus, was born in modern-day Demre, Turkey. At the time, this was a part of the Roman Empire, and Saint Nick was a bishop of great significance. He is suggested to have brought three murdered boys back from the dead with his prayers, magically doubled a ship's cargo of wheat, and became known for gift-giving in the modern world. Number 4. Turkey has the highest number of Facebook users in the world when compared to their online population. Turkey has just under 300 million Facebook users, which is especially impressive when you consider that just 58% of the population is online. The nation has embraced social media and is one of the most engaged online audiences in the world, partly because the population is especially youthful, with over 50% of people under 30 years old. Number 5. You might be served chicken breast pudding when traveling in Turkey. A popular Turkish dessert is the bizarre-sounding chicken breast pudding, made from boiled chicken, sugar, milk, and cinnamon. It was commonly served to sultans when Turkey was a part of the Ottoman Empire, which would have been a great honor. If you find it on your plate, it would be a good idea to try it. Smile and nod so you don't offend anyone. Number 6. Leonardo da Vinci planned a bridge that ran over the Bosphorus, but it was never built. Plans for da Vinci's bridge were discovered in the 1950s, showing that the famous artist and inventor submitted plans for a bridge which linked Asia and Europe in 1503. The bridge was going to be built between Pera and what was then Constantinople. And it's unknown why the plans were never put into action. However, we do know that the Sultan at the time was offered a windmill and a water pump by da Vinci and he gladly accepted. Number 7. 
Turkey is home to 13 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Turkey's beaches are some of the most beautiful in the world, but it's not just the beaches that are protected sites. Turkey is home to stunning hot springs, some of the most remarkable mosques and religious sites, and national parks full of history. The country's significance in the ancient world means that there are many Greek and Roman ruins to see too, with some dating back to 129 BC. Find out about some of the most expensive man-made attractions in our video. Can you guess which is number one? Number 8. Many Turkish people didn't have surnames until 1934. A surname law was introduced in 1934, requiring all Turkish citizens to have a surname. Before that, people would take their father's name and add son of or Aglu. Since 1934, citizens have used a similar system to many other countries, where children take their father's surname. As of 2013, the most common surname in the country was Yilmaz. Number 9. More journalists are imprisoned in Turkey than anywhere else in the world. Syria and Russia are notoriously dangerous for journalists, with many being killed for their careers, but Turkey has the highest number of imprisoned journalists in the world. The majority have been jailed for their support of the Kurdistan Workers' Party, charged with an anti-terror law. The government puts a lot of pressure on the media to dismiss journalists who are critical of them, so many journalists have chosen to self-censor in order to avoid prosecution. Number 10. Part of Turkey's coastline was given to Cleopatra as a gift. When Mark Antony and Cleopatra got married, he gave her what is now Alanya in the south of Turkey in a bid to impress her. Cleopatra Beach is one of the most stunning in Turkey, and Cleopatra Island off its coast is a true gem. The Queen of Egypt herself thought it was her paradise, and now you can travel there by boat. Number 11. The fifth most expensive house in the world is on the coast of Istanbul. Decorated in a classic style with an appropriately east meets west decor, this $115 million estate has its own 200-foot quay. Measuring 30,000 square feet in total, this waterfront estate has 64 rooms and is kitted out with gold sinks and crystal chandeliers. The mansion was designed by Alexandre Valere in the mid-19th century for one of Sultan Abdulhamid II's ministers, and now it's on the market. Number 12. One of Istanbul's most expensive restaurants only accepts cash. Kanat Restaurant is a 360-degree restaurant in Istanbul that offers a stunning view of the surrounding areas. They serve traditional Turkish and Ottoman food in a modern, minimalist setting, but there's no point in bringing your American Express as they only accept cash. This is common in Turkish restaurants, no matter how luxurious, so all tourists should remember to carry it. Number 13. Turks are very patriotic. The Turkish flag has religious and national significance, so it's displayed everywhere with pride. Sales of Turkish flags actually soared after the failed military coup in July 2016, with 1.5 million sold on day one as the show of loyalty to the country and the government. Turkey has a high turnout for elections, with 85% voting in the last election, showing that the population is particularly invested in the country and how it moves forward. Number 14. The women of Turkey won the right to vote before most European countries. It's easy for us to assume that a predominantly Muslim country would be slow on the uptake when it comes to equal rights for women, but that's not necessarily the case. Women in Turkey won the right to vote in 1930 before France, Portugal, Belgium, Greece, and Switzerland. The most recent country to introduce equal voting rights was Saudi Arabia, 85 years after Turkey. Number 15. Troy wasn't in Greece, it was actually in Turkey. The famous ancient city of Troy, where Helen was taken after her kidnapping and the big wooden horse was created, is believed to have existed in Turkey. Located in what is known as Asia Minor, the European parts of Turkey, some of the walls of the city's Acropolis, can still be seen. For many years, people thought Troy was entirely fictional, but these ruins seem to prove exactly where it stood. 
we are all used to reading about Turkey, but it's mainly shrouded in negative news stories. What's actually evident to anyone who's visited the country is that it's a stunning, diverse place with a really rich history. It has as much ancient significance as Greece and Egypt, and its scenery makes it one of the jewels of the world. There's so much we don't know about it, so maybe it's time to explore. If you could take a trip to this amazing country, what would be your first stop? Would you take a tour of every monument and site and explore the ancient world? Or would you look around the country's modern streets and meet the patriotic people of Turkey? Oh, you're still here? Here's another bizarre and incredible fact about Turkey. According to legend, Noah's Ark first landed in eastern Turkey on Mount Ararat. A group of evangelical Christian explorers claim to have found the debris underneath debris of the volcano. However, there are two conflicting views on this, with many disputing any site exists at all. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story. I really wish um, traveling was like free or something because there's so much that's out there in the world outside our home countries that we have to learn about i know turkey has many historical sightings to see and i would love to see those places i'm familiar with the uh, people loving the flag they really love their flag and the eating of the soup they really love their soups like that that never misses that just never misses and that's a good tradition to carry on and and people appreciate that actually and there's so many things that were absolutely uh surprising and shocking and just amazing to learn there's so many things to learn about this one country that um that ha houses a lot of things to explore and i would love to go to the asian side of um turkey i'm sure there's so much to see even just the the European side of it has so many great things. One day I hope to travel to Turkey and explore the goodness that resides in that country and just experience everything. And by the way, they have the best, not the best, but some of the best streets that I've seen in my life. Their streets are very, very nice. And the, um, there's also something that like markets are very, very interesting. Let me know what you guys think have you been to turkey what do you think about this video or what have or what did you experience when you are there make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video